What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm hanging out in Redding, California on the beautiful Sacramento River. And I thought it was time to introduce you guys to my new boat. It's actually not that new. I've been paddling since July. This is a Stellar S16 in the multi-sport layup. I got it from Stellar as a boat for me to test out to see how I like it. I wanted to do a little bit more fitness paddling and also just try a new design. Most of my experience has been with more British style kayaks, you know, more rockered, uh, more playful. And I decided to try something with a rudder, try something with a little bit less rockered profile, a little bit more built for speed. And I tell you what, every time I've paddled this boat, it surprised me. I actually wanted to do an initial thoughts video right as I paddled it. And I went out to film it two or three times and I felt like I didn't have an opinion. I like I didn't have enough knowledge or understanding of this boat to really give you guys my feedback. I kept scratching my head at the end of the day saying like, wow, this boat's teaching me something. So my goal with this video is just to walk you guys through the boat a little bit, tell you a little bit about my experience, and then we're gonna go for a paddle on the Sacramento River and show you what I've been up to with this thing. So starting at the front of the boat, you'll notice this nice carbon carry handle. I think that's a really clean touch and just adds to kind of the aesthetics of the boat. A nice oval front hatch, which is easy to pop on and off. I found it to be really watertight. I've had lots of water over the bow on this thing and have not gotten any water inside. I did notice this one spot where it seemed like the bulkhead glue had sort of uh, come off in a spot and maybe that's because I took a hit there. But again, I found it to be bone dry, no issues at all. So let's make our way back to the cockpit and look at the rudder system here. The rudder system is really easy deployable. It's spring loaded, you just pop it out that rudder drops down into the water. And if I were to hit something, that rudder is just gonna kick right up, which I found to be really helpful in the river because I do often hit things. So when I wanna bring it up, you just pull it forward, clean it in, and you're good to go. It's a smart track rudder, which means it's got really solid foot pedals and the toe controls are what steers the rudder. So you're not depending on your whole foot pedal to move the boat. You have a nice solid platform and just the little bit of toe control that's what steers you, that little piece right up there. So very, very happy with the rudder system. It's there when I want to use it and then feel solid when I don't need it. I also like that they included this foam pad for my heels. So when I'm driving through my feet, I'm not like grinding my heels into the fiberglass. The oval cockpit felt really good. I could roll it when I needed to, but then I could also put my knees up and drive with my feet if I was just paddling flat water. Another thing I really loved was that narrow paddle station, how they moved those deck lines in and gave you that nice side cut out so you can have a high aggressive stroke. You're not clipping the deck. You're not clipping the ropes with your knuckles. Other smart features is this little cutout behind the seat so you can do a dock entry with your paddle and have a locking point back there and then full perimeter deck lines that you can do, you know, paddle float rescue or if you, you know, needed somebody to hold on to your boat, they've got those deck lines there. Just all in all, a very smart, simple, and elegant layout. So let's go hit the water and see if we can't put these things into practice and show you guys firsthand what I'm talking about. So the big open cockpit makes it easy to get my legs in and out. Now it's never easy to get in from a dock. It always looks a little awkward, but uh, I was able to manage to stay dry today. But you notice when I slide my legs in, I'm not worried about hitting my shins. I've got lots of clearance. And for reference, I'm six foot two and have a 34 inch inseam. Um, so plenty of room to move around. And uh, again, not feeling tight or claustrophobic in this cockpit whatsoever. I think it's important to acknowledge that everyone's different and what fits good for me may not fit good for you. It's really a good idea to hop in these boats and try them beforehand. But for me, I really like the S16. Out of the Stellar boats, well, first of all, it was the one I could get. I was shopping for a boat last year and when I hit Stellar up, they had one extra boat for me to play with and this happened to be it. With that said, I really like the S16 out of their lineup. You know, anything smaller than that, I wouldn't really have the speed or glide that I wanted for uh, for flat water fitness paddling. Anything longer than that, I really wouldn't have as much fun surfing the waves and getting into the tight places on the river like I do. Um, I also like the sit inside. You know, they make the S16S, which is the sit on top version, which is a very cool boat, but I've always been a sit inside paddler. I like having a skirt. I like the ability to roll. Uh, but that's not for everyone. Some people have no interest in learning how to roll and the surf ski decks or the sit on top decks are really good for that. Water comes over the top, it can just drain right out. So Stellar's mostly known for their surf skis and more racing performance oriented kayaks, but that's not what drew me to them. What drew me to them was actually the S14 and the S16, the S12, both where they've packed in a lot of the performance features into more of a recreational package. 
Yeah, you see how it's got the plumb bow, nice sharp entry, like a surf ski, but then it also widens up at the cockpit. It's a nice stable platform right at your hips. Yeah, this is a 16 foot boat, but I can honestly say it's faster than most of my old 18 footers that I've been using for the past few years. So as I was looking for new partners to work with, I was really looking for somebody that had a unique niche in the market. Something that I thought had a lot of potential, but wasn't really being filled. And I feel like that's where Stellar came in. You know, they make a nice production composite boat. It's not overly expensive. They've got a huge variety in their line, whether you're looking for a efficient, fast 12 footer, uh, sit on top, sit inside, all the way up to, you know, 21 foot surf skis. Um, I'm mainly gonna focus on the recreational touring, like the 12, 14, 16, even the 18 sit inside and sit on tops because that's where I think the meat of the market is. And I feel like the 16 is a good representation of the entire line in a package that most anybody can get in and be successful in. Uh, if you felt like this was a little tippy, the 14 for sure is a sweet boat that, you know, brand new paddler can hop into and I can take them out kayaking for an afternoon and they can get acquainted with it and appreciate the speed and performance of a lightweight Stellar. But enough talking about it. Let's go for a paddle and show you what this thing can do. So for a little context here, you guys, I'm paddling up the Lake Redding section of the Sacramento River. It basically has a weir dam on this section, which backs up a little bit of water, so it looks like a lake. But as I make my way up past the bridges, I'm gonna get into more and more current. Round trip, it's about four and a half miles from the put-in to the takeout. And what I love about it is it kind of ramps up as you go. So you can build up slow, and then it gets pretty intense towards the end. I had this boat out here for the first time, probably about a month back. And it was kind of, I had never surfed it. I had never had it in dynamic water. So I was honestly a touch nervous how it would do when I had it on a wave. So I pull in from the eddy and I drop into the wave. And immediately the boat just like knives in, the bow rides out, and then the stern stays nice and loose on the wave. I was so impressed. I, I'm used to a high rockered sea kayak. Um, so I, and I know in theory, like this more of surf, surf ski style hole, Surfs well, obviously that's what they're for, but uh, to feel that bow buoyancy pick up and it just felt so fast on the wave. And it actually did way better than I could have expected. So I had a few good rides. In fact, I think I have some clips of that. I'll drop those in right here. So it kind of sold me on this being the perfect boat for this area. It's fast enough to get to the wave. I can make it up the shelves. It's small and light enough where I can handle it on and off the water really easy. Uh, and I don't have to go out. Usually I would bring like a plastic boat out here. I don't have to worry about the multi-sport layup. I hit it on rocks, I bang it up. Pretty impressed with how the boat's holding up for this kind of use. So we've made our way about a mile up and you can see the river starting to narrow up, the current starting to happen. And there's also all these little side shoots, little channels off the main river which are fun to explore usually find a little wildlife back in there so we're making it up into the current section here not too strong but you can see the eddy lines and whatnot and i gotta punch my way through this it's like being on a uh, escalator going the wrong way you look at the shore and we're barely moving but then you look at the water and we're flying So we're almost there. I can see the wave ahead. We're almost to the goods. One more shelf to climb. So you can see a couple of rocks sticking up there. A little wave train. But what I have to do is I have to get my speed up, cross over that uh, without getting swept downstream and get back into those eddies. So it's kind of like being a sprinter. There's just moments of paddling for all your worth to just pop up the shelf and then you're back in the eddy, kind of catch your breath. A good workout though. This is the spot, the legendary rejection rapids. We call it that because this is where most people get rejected. All right, I think we're good. I think we're recording. I'm recording here because I wanted to talk you through a little bit about what's going on. So we're surfing a standing wave in the river. Basically, the river comes down, goes over a shelf, it creates this beautiful standing wave, 
And what we do is we paddle through the eddy and let the nose drop in the wave. And we're basically using gravity to keep the nose down in the wave. And all we're trying to do is just keep it straight so we don't fall off. <clears throat> so first thing I gotta do is cross the eddy line. That's the hardest part. It's like a defined line where I can sit here, but once I'm out there, that water's gonna wanna take me. So I gotta keep an angle at about 11 o'clock and ferry over into the wave. Get past this part. Yeah, you're in. And once you're on the wave, then it's easy. Money for nothing. <laughs> All right. You can do is kind of carve around. I'm always looking down into the hole, trying to keep the nose of my boat in the hole. Yeah, long boats are super fun to surf. But they have so much speed that you can get them on a nice green wave like this. Woo! Yeah, that was a good one. Just a nice surf back and forth. That's what it's all about right there. That was a good surf. So I'm gonna try to get one more shot. I'm gonna set the GoPro up behind me, see if I can get a like over the shoulder shot. We'll see if it comes out or not. Uh, but if nothing else, we'll get another surf ride. Oh man, that was a blast. What a treat to get to share that with you guys. That is like at the core of who I am as a paddler. That's what it's all about right there. One of my favorite things in the world to do is sea kayaking on a river. Um, that's kind of how I grew up in this. When I started sea kayaking, you know, of course I wanted to go hit the tidal race. I wanted to be in Skookum Chuck. I wanted to uh, be on the coast surfing waves, but I was inland. I didn't have the coast, I had rivers. And thankfully Penguin Paddlers was around back then and they were doing a ton of river paddling right here in the Sacramento River. And, you know, they were posting what they were doing and they were creating an outlet for other people to see and get inspired. And this was back before social media, before Facebook existed. Uh, they were out here and they had like a, what was it, like a smug mug account. And every week I'd go on there and I would see what the shop was doing. I was like, man, they're out there surfing waves or they saw a bald eagle and it would inspire me to get out and kind of have my own adventures. So fast forward 15 years, here I am back in the same spot, having those same adventures and having the time of my life. I just absolutely love this stuff. And it's really cool for me now to have a platform that I can share with you guys and bring you along. And hopefully it inspires someone out there that maybe you live in an obscure area, but you still love sea kayaking or kayak touring or whatever niche you're in. Hopefully this inspires you to get out and make the best of what's in your backyard. Uh, if it has in any way, do me a favor, leave it in the comment section. If somehow this channel has touched you, affected you, inspired you, I love to hear that stuff. So leave it below in the comment section. Yeah, it just feels so good to have you guys out here with me and, and get to share my boat. I mean, I've been paddling this thing now for, well, I got it in July. So I put quite a few hundred miles in it and uh, I'm in love. I really, really love this kayak. I haven't done a whole lot to it. 
other than just paddle it. And it's handled everything I've thrown at it. Um, I've had it in the rivers, I've had it in lakes, I've surfed downwind, uh, surfed in the rivers. Just a ton of flat water fitness paddling with the wing paddle. It's the boat I get excited about paddling these days. It's the boat that constantly lives on my truck because there's no sense taking it off because I'm using it three or four days a week. So that says a lot. I haven't had a boat like that in a while that I'm not like stuck on, excited to paddle. So kudos to the guys at Stellar Kayaks. The multi-sport layups hold up really well and I've just been having a ton of fun. I'm sure as we move forward, I'll get the opportunity to jump in a bunch of their other boats. You know, I know we've got some stock coming to the warehouse of the, uh, the S14, the S14S, uh, the S16S, which I'm really excited about, this same boat in a sit on top package, uh, as well as some of their longer stuff, like the 18 footer that's with all the hatches set up for expedition paddling. I would love to take that thing on a big trip. As I paddle them, you guys, I'll continue to share my feedback. If you're interested in stellar kayaks, definitely subscribe to this space. We'll be talking a lot more about them as well as comparing them to some of my other uh, composite sea kayaks because honestly, I'm starting to get a little bit of an armada in the garage these days, much to my wife's dismay, but having a ton of fun paddling them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, this is Dan live from the Sacramento River, wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.